Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. This video, we're gonna be talking about using the for loop with the arrays. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about filling an array dynamically. All right, so what's that going to look like? Well, I guess you'll never know until you get through our sponsored message. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to create a for loop and we're going to start I at zero and we're going to go I until less than grades dot length. This is going to give us the size of the array. In this case, it's gonna be four. So that means I less than four. So we'll get four iterations. One for this, 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 and this. And they'll say I plus plus. And here's what we're gonna do. We're just going to get rid of these values here and replace it with a new integer array of size four. Then what we'll do is we'll assign a value to the index of I. So it's gonna start on the first iteration at index zero, next iteration index one, then iteration two, and then three. Once it reaches four, this condition will no longer be met and it will stop. What are we going to assign it? We're actually going to get a value from input. Console.in.readline. And this needs to be converted to an integer. So the way you can do that is just by saying convert dot two int 32 and put that inside of parentheses. So this here is going to read a line that's going to be a string and that string is going to be passed to this method, part of the convert class, and that is ultimately going to return an integer, as you can see right there, and that's gonna be assigned to this index of the array, which contains integers, so it fits. Cool. To output it, what we need to do is we need another for loop, and we'll do the same exact thing. An i zero, i less than grades dot length, i plus plus. Then we'll do is this console write, and we'll put grades index i followed by a space. Let's give this a run. First thing it's going to ask us for an input, so that's why nothing's showing up. So we can just put some values in here, four of them exactly. And then it outputs the array right there. Last thing that you could do is you could actually get the size of the array from user input. So let's give that a try. We'll say console.in read line do the same thing, we'll convert it to int32, pass that in, and this is going to need to be assigned to a variable such as size. And then we could pass in size as the size here. 